Okay, so I'm in the Al Maghrib market in Basra, I'm wanting to buy an abaya and a chador so that I have that ready for when I go to Naja. Uh, it's even like uh, the market's not completely covered, so the water is coming in. But yeah, I'm just looking for a women's clothing shop. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, it's still raining quite heavily. Um, I didn't really expect there to be rain whilst I was uh, here in Iraq, but uh, the weather anywhere really cannot be predicted with any accuracy. <laughs> so uh, one of those things that's out of our control. But yeah, let's see if I can find a women's clothing shop. Okay, I think I'm in the clothing section now. So, uh, let's see, maybe here, I don't know, okay, I'm going to ask in this shop here. Slam, um, I want to buy a buyer and Chador, a buyer and Chador, yes, yes, you sell? Last road, not here. Okay, last road and then then left. Okay, thank you, shukran. Okay, not in this shop, but that shop uh, did sell women's clothing, but just not the uh, Abaya and Chador. So he said, go straight and then turn left. So I've got to check out of my hotel at 12 and it's coming up to 20 past 11. So uh, I want to find somewhere. Uh, and just buy it pretty quickly so I don't have to check out late but this market uh, sells pretty much everything um, I was here yesterday afternoon um, where I bought a padlock for my suitcase uh, but yeah they've got everything uh, there's like a fish market section a meat market section fruit and veg electrical items clothing women's shoes, men's clothing, um, pretty much everything. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, place to be if the uh, oud, I could just smell oud just then. See, so, yeah, fake Ralph Lauren. Uh, there's a food section as well, which I saw yesterday. And, uh, yeah. Hi. So yeah, this is currently the uh, men's clothing section, which is not what I want. But yeah, he said straight and then left. So let's see. Sorry. It's not that busy. I think it was a little bit busier uh, when I was here yesterday. Oh, where is it? This is not it. This is still the men's section. Shoe shop here. Baby sandals. Yeah, this little fake here, like Adidas. Fake Adidas, fake. Ralph Lauren, fake Levi's, yeah. Hi, uh, women clothing? Woman? Where woman clothing yeah, shop. Yeah, oh, yeah. the camera is this way. Yeah. One, one second. Okay, yeah. now you're on camera. Now you're on camera. Um, Hello. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, women clothing? Area no, women. No, you did. Women clothes. Oh, yeah. This way or this way? <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm looking for the India and Vietnam. I'm looking for the women's clothing section. Yes, yes, of course. Which way? Uh, maybe this way. Is this way? 
For women's clothes. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I don't think they understood what I was saying, but uh, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so I'm looking for an Abaya and a Chador to wear in the Jap and Kabbalah, just using Google Translate to try and communicate. So he's quoted a price of 30,000 dinars, uh, which apparently comes with the head covering. So yeah, maybe this one is okay. Um, oh, let me see if it covers the arms. Yeah, it'll cover the arms, so that's fine. So uh, yeah, let's see what other designs there are. So there's this design here. Uh, I'm probably only going to wear this whilst I'm in Iraq. I'm probably not going to wear it again. So I think just something like that's portable to wear uh, is probably best. So which one do I like? Yeah, maybe this one. What do you think? What is that one? Okay, let's have a look at this. Hmm. I think I just need to pick one. Maybe this one. Okay, yeah, maybe this one. And the head covering. That's the size. See. Small. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Uh, the of that. To try it on. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so. About to try it on. Okay. Yeah, it fits all right. It's covering the full sleeves, um, but without this scarf, the neck would be exposed. But yeah, full length. Um, it is quite loose, but I think it's supposed to be like that. And then it's got these uh, tassels to the sides, which are supposed to be belt-like, I think. But yeah, I think this will do. Um, yeah, very loose sleeves, but yeah, then that's okay. <laughs> So yeah, this is 30,000 Iraqi dinars. I did try and ask if it was possible to get it for 20, but he said uh, 30 already comes with the uh, discount. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think this will do. So now just the uh, head covering. Um, okay. So yeah, using Google Translate, I did ask if the head covering is included, and he said yes. So, okay, for head, okay, so, um, yeah, I've just been given this piece of material. So this is the head covering piece, and then this as well. But I might need to ask uh, a lady to show me how to wear it. But yeah, okay, that's fine. This is for head or neck? This is for head? Or I have to choose one. Okay, I think I have to choose which one I would like um, out of these three. The only difference is the border. The border design is a little different. So that's just got like lines, whereas this has got like uh, oval shapes. So, yeah, maybe this one, I think, yeah. 
it's pretty simple but it goes well with the abaya so uh this one yeah because it is okay so one underneath and i think yeah i think i'll need to ask someone but yeah apparently i get both um but yeah there'll be enough material to cover the neck and to cover the head so yeah okay yeah Ideally, I would have liked to pay a little bit less for this just because um, the likelihood is I'm not going to wear it after I leave the country. But um, in order to visit Najaf and Kabbalah, I think it's uh, necessary to adopt the, um, the religious dress, uh, seeing as they are religious uh, cities, historic sites. And in order to enter, you must, as a woman, be fully covered, um, including wearing socks. Um, and not allowed any uh, nail polish or anything on the hands. So yeah, let's uh, pay the guy and go back to the hotel. So yeah, 30,000 dinars. Okay, so I've made my purchase, I've got the abaya, including the head covering, so I've got everything I need now for Najaf. Just see how much money I've got left, so I've got enough for the, uh, the shared taxi to get there. So yeah, let's go. Where's from? Uh, so I'm half Indian, half Vietnamese, but living in England. So I'm just a tourist here, just visiting Iraq. Alright. Tourism, tourism, yeah, visiting different cities. Bazra, Najaf, Kabbalah, Babylon, Baghdad, Samara, Mosul, Erbil, then fly back and leave, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, shukran, Habibi. So, yeah, that's my purchase done. These are all the uh, different designs that you can choose from. This is quite nice actually, it's floral. But I asked him to show me the uh, the cheapest ones, which were 30,000 dinars each. And uh, yeah, there was a choice to choose from. They're all pretty similar, to be honest. Uh, it's just some small details that are different. But I think the printed ones, like this one, might be a little bit more costly, uh, just because they have additional design on them. So yeah, let's uh, head back to the hotel and uh, you guys can see a little bit, little bit more of the market as we uh, walk through. So yeah, in the comments below, do tell me if 30,000 dinars was a fair price for the purchase that I made. Um, I don't know if it is. I simply just don't know what the local prices are for uh, these kinds of items. It is the very first time I'm purchasing and a buyer, so I don't know. But I was in Abu Dhabi a few months ago and in order to enter the Sheikh Zayed Mosque, you do have to be um, fully covered. And uh, I had the choice either to purchase arm sleeves and a headscarf or to purchase the full abaya. I went for the arm sleeves and the headscarf, but I think the abaya was around... Um, so I'm, I think the abaya was around... Uh, in pounds, might have only been about... 10 pounds or something like that it wasn't too expensive um and that came with the head covering and i think that's cheap it's cheaper than what i've just paid um but the ones they were selling were like super light material and uh yeah but you know if i knew i was going to be coming here i would have bought the abaya at that time um, but you never know where life is going to take you so uh, i wasn't to know you know but here I am and uh, yeah hopefully it stopped raining uh, so only about a 12 minute walk back to the hotel from here but uh, no one really likes to be caught in the rain so yeah so yeah we are in the uh, women's clothes section now uh, a lot more buyer shops I didn't really shop around to be honest which I could have done but uh, I just want to get back to the hotel before checkout time. 
so yeah there's other clothes shops like this that are selling dresses that are not a buyer's but more like fancy occasion wear um some western women's clothing as well socks and the uh, mirrors and things sunglasses underwear here so yeah everything that you could need really you can uh, hello hi salam you can get here so yeah so this is the place to come if you are in basra and you want to experience a local market and do some shopping uh come to the al magri's market which is quite close to the corniche so uh yeah you can find it on google maps uh so yeah okay right i think this is the exit out of here this weighs quite a bit actually <laughs> it's got a bit of weight to it where my suitcase is pretty full as it is and uh i'm hoping when i fly out of here i fly with an airline that has a 30 kg bag allowance so that i don't have to get rid of anything or repack any of my luggage to get it down to 20 kg which is what some airlines offer or some airlines even if they're not budget airlines may only offer 23 kg so yeah hopefully uh i won't have to repack or anything on the way back but yeah um might have to change more money actually yeah so i spent 77 us dollars the day i arrived for the visa the taxi from Basra to the hotel was around 42 US dollars. It was 55 pounds a night to stay at the Atlas Hotel and I've been there for two nights. So that was 110 US dollars. And I've probably spent about 25 or 20 US dollars on taxis whilst I've been here. Because uh, that's the only real way to get around is by taxi. There's no uh, buses or subway or metro system here food i've not spent that much on food is pretty cheap got a takeaway the first night uh which was delivered to the hotel and that cost about um 16 us dollars or something like that and uh entry to the museum was 25,000 dinars which was about 18 us dollar i mean it does seem excessive especially considering the market was only on uh, sorry the museum was only on one floor and it only had four rooms the upstairs uh, was empty wasn't accessible so that was the basra cultural museum that i'm uh, referring to so yeah the plan today is um to go to the sad square garage so they call garage like the shared taxi station so go there and uh, take a shared taxi to Najat. Um, there is a train, I think it leaves around 6pm. I think it would get to Najaf around 10.30pm or something like this, maybe 11pm, which is quite late and I... The train could be an option as well, but I don't really like to arrive in places that I've never been to before at night because it's dark, often tired, um, so yeah, I think it is better to try and arrive in daylight hours. Don't have a hotel booked, so I will need to figure that one out. I'll probably just look at Google Maps um, at hotels that are quite close to the centre of, this is another market here behind me, look at hotels that are close to the centre of Najaf and see what reviews they have on Google and what their ratings are and uh, use that to inform where to be dropped off in the jazz and then just ask at the desk if they've got availability. So that's what I did when I arrived here in Basra. I didn't book ahead, just looked on Google, looked at ones that were central, good reviews, good rating and uh, turned up. So yeah, I've been at the Atlas Hotel for two nights now and uh, it's quite nice. The bed is super comfy, it's clean, the breakfast is really good. Um, 
the manager speaks English but the other staff don't so it's a bit difficult when the manager's not on the counter I have to use um, Google Translate which is not ideal so yeah uh, unfortunately it doesn't look like I'll be visiting Ur um, so in Ur there is the uh, historic monument which is purported to be the birthplace of Abraham uh, Z Ziggurat of Ur but it's in quite an isolated location and logistically it seems a little difficult so from what I've read you need to go to um, the museum in Nazaria, buy a ticket to Ur and it's difficult to get a taxi out of Ur just because it's so isolated so it's better to have a car and ideally a guide so it doesn't look like unfortunately that I'll be visiting there even though I'd like to just because of its historic significance um, so yeah doesn't look like I'll be doing that or the marshes um, either but I've seen things that are similar to I've seen marshland in the past you know uh, so it's not completely new to me but it seems that I'll be going from here straight to uh, Najaf so yeah okay